Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marnice Nicole. I'm an acrylic painter and today we're going to talk about the joys of painting when no one's watching because after spending six months about filming the process of me struggling through this painting right here, I really felt like, you know what? Stop it. You need to, you know, operate more in spontaneity. You need to give yourself some freedom and some flexibility to just enjoy the painting process. So that's exactly what I did. So here it is, this painting that stressed me out and made me struggle and made me rethink like do I even want to be a painter at all <laughs> because this painting put me through the rigor you guys this is its current state I'm still debating if I'm going to tweak some things I've already tweaked some things since you saw part two which will be linked up here of my six month process video of this painting um but yeah it's finished and I don't actually have a name for it yet. I'm not sure what the vibe is because again, I'm not sure if I finished it, but after six months of painting and stressing about not finishing a video or not updating you guys on the process or not having anything to share on social because the painting wasn't finished yet because it sat with my easel for so many weeks and weeks and weeks. After going through that, I was like, you know what? I need a break. I need a painting session that is just for me. Because you can definitely end up suffering for your art by putting extra parameters on it that doesn't need to be there. Like I figured this out a little bit while I was working on this piece, right? When I stopped everything that I was doing to work on this piece, which is still not named yet. Um, I stopped and I was like, you know, video here but I was like I don't want to work on this painting I'm stuck but I like the chairs like being able to find one thing to focus on and like let me just get the chair idea out and I did it I painted this mostly off camera I talked about it in those two videos but like mostly I worked on this kind of just to myself in these private little sessions where all I had was my music playlist and my dogs you know all walking around and my boyfriend occasionally coming back to say "Ooh, that looks nice and, you know giving me a little motivation to finish otherwise i basically just removed myself from the added stress of content creation because what i'm finding is content even though it is a form that i absolutely love like i work in marketing and my day job i love video production i love social media production and content and clips and TikToks. I love all of it. But filming the process is its own, it's its own full-time job. <laughs> it can be filming the process, editing the videos, you know, tagging them, thinking of catchy titles. It's a lot of work. No one says that when you're painting, you're working. And so when I do find the time to paint, having the extra added element sometimes of you know working on a long piece a complicated piece a piece you're not exactly sure it's going to finish and it's going to come out okay and then try to film the process and film it coherently <laughs> that's a lot um, just quite honestly is a lot when a lot of people are getting into like youtube and content creation and art no one really talks about how much work it is and how stressful it can be and so this is my reminder to all of my fellow artists take time to enjoy the process like i did with this piece I enjoyed this process. I barely talked about it online. I shared it a little bit after the fact and once I had it in a good place, but like the beginning messy stage that I normally share, which is actually a very intimate part of my artist process, like showing you a messy nonsense sketch that really only makes sense in my head and I'm like not sure if it's going to come across how I want it to come across. That is a like very open way to share your art and sometimes it can be like what if people don't like it and it can take away from like that initial joy but taking that element of 
film away from your painting process it is so liberating it is so free it is so fun and there is so much to be gained I think from filming and sharing your process I'm actually I've seen so many new comments lately about I'm so glad I found another woman who is sharing her artistic journey and especially another black artist so I appreciate those comments so much because I absolutely agree it was so hard for me early out to find artists who were not just doing tutorials not just sharing like tips and tricks but actually sharing art process videos and sharing like why they did something the way they did, why they painted something the way they did, why their style is the way it is, why they changed something that maybe while you're watching you think is great. Like I love process videos like that. And so again, this is the what third time I'm saying it in this video. Take the time to create when no one is watching. That is, that is the thing for 2022 that I am taking away. I just take away little things from my, my style of art. When I look back, I see things that I've changed. I see things I'm painting differently. And I feel like even though I painted less than I normally would in a year, I have a lot to share about my actual painting process and like what my art looks like in 2022 because man has my art changed in the last 12 months but you know the main message here is like paint the things and so I painted this mostly when no one's watching but this next piece this this piece right here I showed off the initial kind of sketch and like a seven part series on TikTok. I like to do that and I'm like kind of promoting the messy sketch process on TikTok. Like I like to share that sketches and paintings are not always pretty and perfect. Like sometimes they start off being crazy ugly as this one did and then you know they turn into something amazing but after that initial kind of like update of like me starting the painting series because I do think it's important to share that part especially online and on platforms like TikTok but after that I have been exclusively painting this painting for myself by myself without filming the process I'm doing that with another piece as well and I'll show that I actually just started this messy sketching. I know a lot's happening here. It is very blue. <laughs> but essentially I had a painting that was this way and it was like an ocean scene with someone in the middle drinking like some water. You can see their hand in the bottle right here. And there was that and I hated it after like two weeks. So I stopped and I turned it into what's going to be a pool scene, like a pool. There's the lights, there's the chick she's bent over, the table, there's a guy also with the pool stick watching her, they're making eye contact. It's romantic, it's a thing, it's happening. This will also go from being very blue <laughs> to very dark and moody, you know? But this painting is not finished yet and it's just, this is how I throw my messy sketch onto a uh, canvas so I don't let the idea leave me. Just getting this out on canvas and just like moving it along. This is going to sit for a little while until I can get to it. And that's because I am still finishing this piece. This piece, this piece I'm really loving. I love the idea of it, right? We have this guy. He is walking out of a magical mirror. So like you can see like there's some kind of royal hallway. There's chandeliers. There's like drapery and a red carpet and all of that. He's walking out of this mirror. You can kind of see him and the mirror and the reflection and stuff. And I hope I'm getting that across. And no, this painting is not done yet. But do you see this excitement that I have for this piece? Because like, look, Mans is coming out with his shirt off. You know, he got the pecs showing. He's bringing more wine because, you know, they're all laid out. She is just, look at her. She is just fabulous, okay? And she's just laid out she has wine you know she's in her cute little dress and they are surrounded by like candles and it's like it's my favorite thing to paint these kind of fantastical scenes right because I always love a fantasy element I'm someone who reads books that like have court politics and a princess and an adventure of some kind you know I love those kinds of books and I love to paint scenes where I feel like 
the black characters that I'm painting are stepping out of these magical worlds because I will never be one of those people who likes to paint trauma <laughs> or you know still lives because I find those kind of boring but this I could start a whole story about this couple and I particularly love the little elements that I add like this little rope and do you know those old waiter ropes where it would ring a bell I feel like she rang for him to come with more wine I feel like that's the play here so anyway I've been painting this and actually just for giggles let me show you how this started messy sketch time to be fair when I do ever start a painting it's always a little bit of a mess but it's my mess you know so I'm going to be fixing this obviously but it always starts off looking very very crazy the whole process to get it from ugly over to like adorable and like precious and like makes sense but like essentially we have a girl she's laid out gonna have her shoes showing and this is going to be a mirror with something shining through it. It's leaning against a cobblestone wall. And it doesn't make sense. No, it does not. But I think it'll look like something in the end. So let me finish sketching this out. Part and seriously, three. I don't know how we end up places sometimes. But now she has this very, very big hip leg thigh popping out her foot ending kind of like right here and I'm essentially just dry brushing at this point and we have that which means she needs another leg obviously and then we still have all of this to define but maybe I can put someone in the mirror seeing how the mirror will actually be seen now. I think that's better anyway. Is this too I'm sexy? I'm really hard for this not to be vulgar, so we're gonna add a skirt here. And this, this will probably all just be in shadow because <laughs> my grandmother looks at my painting, so we cannot, we cannot. So you just watched all of that and it was fun, right? Like the beginning stages of the process was fun. And because I've been painting and working on this piece while no one has been watching. I've continued to have fun. Like, I'm having the most fun I've had in a while just painting this piece. And it's giving me peace. Like, it's giving me peace of mind. It's giving me creativity and, like, re-energizing me. A lot of times after I paint, like, a big piece, if I don't have something, like, short and quick to jump right into and paint afterwards, it's a no-go for me I'm I'm out of it like I've used up all the creative painting energy that I have but because I have like this sh the short burst of a quick piece after such a long and intensive piece I'm able to move forward I'm able to keep that creativity flowing and I'm able to create great things I think at least personally I think all of my work is great so you know tooting my own horn but <sighs> anyway so that is me telling you guys to paint with the cameras off. No flashing lights, no photography. Just try it and see if it helps, you know, reinvigorate you into your painting process. But anyway, my name is Marnice Nicole. I'm an acrylic painter and I am off to work on this painting some more off camera. All right, bye guys.